If one of these machines uh, had a bad flash tube, it was probably relegated to the back of the shop. Received a lot of damage. Uh, we have three of these units and two of them have meters that are beyond repair. And so we're converting those to electronics. This is our dwell box that uh, we've been experimenting with. As you can see, it, sa it says uh, around 22 and a half degrees, and uh, that's what our dwell cal calibrator uh, puts out, a 50% duty cycle. And you can see on the sun machine that it's around 22 and a half degrees. This is uh, what they specify in the manual of how to calibrate it. You're supposed to calibrate it at 50% duty cycle. If we press this cal button, you can see it goes up to 45 degrees and uh, that's at 45 degrees there and if we remove the calibrator box this goes to zero and this one goes to zero so hey that should be pretty well calibrated up but uh, look what happens uh, this is our dwell flash unit uh, this was converted over to LEDs using one of these little modules and the LED is right here. Uh, we take out all the weights and the old flash tube boards here. We have one washer and then four washers, four or five washers uh, where the capacitor used to be. That seems to balance up pretty good. Uh, we're using a magnetic distributor for this test and an HEI unit. Uh, no reason to buy anything expensive. You know, ten bucks, put a little aluminum heat sink on it and uh, you can run all the new electronics. This is 12 volts. It's very easy to use. So, back to... So here you got a nice bright flash and you can see uh, from this meter it's reading uh, 32 degrees. Well, wait a minute. This one's only reading uh, 22. Well, what you gonna believe? The sun or some uh, something I just whipped up? Well, this dwell flash unit has a really nice feature. Uh, you flip this little switch and you'll get flashes not only when the points open but when they close again. Now you see it, now you don't. And what you can do is you set this one to zero, and you go up here, 15, 30, this says 32, just what that says. So hey, this is a really nice feature. Like I say, you can switch it in, switch it out, and uh, when you're uncertain, we're working with a lot of these electronic modules. It's good to have uh, something that will actually verify what's happening. Uh, on this unit, uh, typically what you have is uh, a lead that goes to the points, but there's all kind of electronic ignitions. And so I put in this second connector here to tie into our HEI unit. This is actually a standard power plug. If you're not totally stupid and uh, plug this into a wall, then these are a really cheap way to hook these up. You can have a, everyone has a bunch of these power cords sitting around. You can set one up for each type of distributor and uh, instantly you can plug it in. So that's a nice feature. We don't use the batteries anymore because we uh, power that electronics with a wall wart. And back to this unit here, we have a 10 turn pot. Instead of having a, a switch where you select a four lobe, six lobe, or eight lobe, we have just a single pot. It's a 10 turn pot and you press calibrate and you adjust this value up here to either 45, 60, or 90 degrees, 
or you can even make it 100 if you want to do purely percentage and this is a, a precision reference in here uh, once you set this up you can come away on a cold day, hot day, doesn't matter, this will still be in calibration but uh, the single pot makes it easy these meters are only a couple bucks all the electronics would be less than ten dollars to do and uh, it's a fairly easy easy process to convert these to something electronic. Uh, the tachometers, if that doesn't work, you can buy digital tachometers for only about fifteen dollars. Uh, we use them on the other machine. It works real nice. So, like I say, I have this cal box. We calibrated this up just the way the factory said and we're getting different numbers. So this is our schematic to the uh, the dwell meter, uh, points come in here, this transistor shorts out the voltage reference, and uh, we have a capacitor smoothing circuit, and then it goes into a zero to two volt meter. It's uh, fairly simple. Uh, some people will are deer in the headlights when they see stuff like this, but hey, I'm not trying to hide anything from you. Uh, if you have some kid to build this for you, then uh, that's a good deal. So, thanks for watching. Again, look at that feature. You can read dwell directly off the scale. So, you set the pointer at zero, and zero is either here or there. It's always between the widest two sections. And depending upon which way the distributor is rotating, you can read it directly. So. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer these.